Hello, good afternoon, and welcome to another video from T.W. White & Sons Mazda. Okay, here we have today a Mazda CX-3. This is the two-litre manual uh, Sport Nav Plus edition. So this was the very last um, of the CX-3s made, um, which had a few revisions, which I'll talk you through. Um, <clears throat> now, a little bit of history about the car. This was actually um, one of our cars, or one of our company vehicles, um, which we sold to a very very good customer of ours, who's now um, upgraded it um, for a CX-30. Um, so as I say, we've known the car um, from day dot, and we've always serviced it. Now it's only covered 8,925 miles, beautiful miles, presented in Arctic white, which is a solid white, which in my opinion is marvellous because it's really easy to touch in. Um, being the plus model, <coughs> has a centre armrest, front parking sensors as well as rear and rear camera, and it's got these nice wheels, sort of black chromey um, style wheels. Um, car has keyless entry, which I'll show you in a sec, but let me just walk you around the car. Hopefully from this video and the still shots I've made, you can get a good idea of the condition of the car. It is, it is really lovely. I'll take you in the boot and then we'll go inside the vehicle. Um, so with the CX-3, it's not a huge boot, but it's certainly practical enough um, for a small family. You can just about get a pushchair in, or the pushchair that I've got, and you've got a 60-40 split um, rear seat. Being the sport model, it's also got the um, Bose premium sound system, and that's where the subwoofer lives, where you could have a spare wheel, should you want one. Uh, the shelf pops out if you need an, any extra room. And if you're familiar with the Mazda range, you'll notice that um, you'll see Sky Active banded around. Um, that's basically Mazda's technology behind its, um, you know, the fuel efficiency. Um, so low emission engines um, without compromising power. Um, gearboxes that are really efficient. Um, the chassis is made um, strong yet light. Um, all, all, all in the name of... Um, emissions, the environment, and obviously um, running costs. So um, if, you, if you want a better explanation um, than I've given you, and I can go on and on and on about this, you go onto YouTube, type in like Mazda Sky Active Engines, and it will give you um, an idea of what they do, um, <clears throat> where a lot of manufacturers have gone for smaller engines with turbochargers. Uh, Mazda have gone the other way, because like their slogan says, to defy convention. And they've made bigger engines, but made them um, fuel efficient. So bigger engines, the more drivable, and the more reliable in the long run as well. Um, but uh, getting the fuel consumption of a much smaller engine. Right, so <coughs> let's go to the inside. Um, now you've got keyless entry. So you press that button, the car will open, so you don't need to get your keys out. The car is equipped with walk-away locks. So when you walk away um, from the car with your keys, car will detect you've walked away and lock the car. You've got electric windows, wing mirrors. This auto um, is to do with the wing mirrors. So when you lock the car, they'll fold in. Bose premium sound system. You've got this black leatherette interior. Now this is a slightly different style than the earlier cars. It's got a center armrest. That's something that was uh, missing. When I say missing but not standard on the older cars. You could get them as an accessory. So that's nice. And you've got the electric handbrake. So those are all things um, that you get, you've got on these um, revised models. Um, you've got LED lights. You've got lane departure warning system. So it'll warn you if you veer out of a lane. So for example, if you're driving down a dual carriageway, you don't indicate, but you change lanes. The car will detect that and it will warn you just in case you didn't intend on doing that. Um, by the form of a, uh, a bleep or a rumble. Uh, you can obviously set that. Parking sensors you can turn off there. You've got um, a tyre pressure monitoring system just below that eye stop that will warn you if your tyre pressures, uh, if they if they change um, more than four PSI. And you've got eye stop, which is an intelligent engine start stop system, which will switch the car off and switch her back on. 
I say her, uh, switch switch the car back on um, once you um, uh, put the car back into gear. So it's a nice seamless um, process. And that's for, once again, in the name of, you know, the environment, save fuel, save money. Sorry about the glare today. I might actually move forward a little bit. <clears throat> um, so that's that's on that panel there. Now let me let me show you how this car starts up now. The car has two keys, okay? And when you put the clutch down, start and stop will light up green. Car fire into life. Would you put India on the red list? Oh, just turn the ah, that's better. Right, I'll put the sun visors down. Right, so when the fire car fires up, you've got this heads-up display. And this will display, now it's flashing in my video, um, but it doesn't actually flash. That will have your speed, um, road signs, speed limits, etc. Basic sat nav functions on there. So you don't need to look down at the binnacle. So it's just another safety feature. I say just another, um, you can never have too many, um, but um, that, that's a really good um, a, a really good system. And um, this Perspex, um, this perspex screen here you can adjust from the Mazda MZD I'll show you actually so if I go into settings now I don't know if you can see this so I can change set a little rectangle there so you can change depending on obviously how you're sitting the um, driver and passenger seat are both height adjustable um, you know so obviously Depend on your proportions and where you're sitting, you'll have to adjust that. Um, mileage there, 8,926 miles, okay? Um, so no mileage at all. Previous customers, they, they worked in London, they live fairly locally, um, so they didn't use the car for their daily commute, hence the low mileage. Um, you've got a heated steering wheel, which is lovely, heated seats, Climate control, CD player, MP3, um, sorry, USB ports for both charging and data. Um, little um, charging, um, what do you call that? Auxiliary jack, I've not used one of them for years. 12 volt socket there, and this little, this little uh, flap here is for where the SD card lives. <clears throat> this here is the, I call it the finger brake, the electronic handbrake. Um, now don't despair if you've never used one of these before and you think how do I get the biting point when you lift your foot off the brake it will actually when you put the car in gear and lift your foot off the brake it will give you a little bit a little bit of time just to find that biting point um, um, so yeah so that, that don't worry about that and just imagine it as a finger brake this here is your I call it the human interface, but it's, I believe the official name is a multimedia commander, which will operate this screen here when the car's moving, when the car's stationary, this is all touch screen. Okay. Um, I always say get used to this because then you don't get finger marks on the screen. Um, now forgive me if this screen looks like it's, um, it's like a wave going through it. Um, it's, it's just because of the, the camera I'm using. Um, but you've got your applications. You can have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto uh, fitted to this car. Music, you've got DAB, um, FM, AHA Stitcher, U USB, you can read the music off that, um, and also off your phone. So once the phone's connected via your Bluetooth, um, all your call lists receive calls and stuff, but any of your music can be played through the stereo. And then you sat nav. And you can search via postcode. Okay. Um, and there's the your settings. So the car's really well equipped. Six speed gearbox, volume controls, cruise control, auto lights, wipers. Um, and it's a really, it's in really lovely condition. They had one child, no pets. Um, Interior's not had a hard life at all. It's pretty much come in like this. Um, if there's anything I've forgotten, please don't hesitate to ask. Um, we can often respond to um, inquiries out of hours, so do try us at any time. If we don't pick up or respond, we will 
um, usually you know by the morning but we we often we're working on a very flexible basis at the moment so we can we can be flexible in in answering your questions um part exchange is extremely welcome if you look at our website you can see we we, we retail a lot of part exchanges that aren't mazda so do try us a lot of people have the perception that um you know maybe being a mazda dealer we wouldn't be so good with a nissan or a toyota or a bmw or whatnot please do try us we have finance facilities to suit all, and um, the cars will come with a 12 month warranty, 12 month roadside assistance. So thank you very much for watching our video, and we look forward to hearing from you. Take care, bye bye.